Good morning and welcome day four. I have just arrived in Jackson, Tennessee, and I'm excited to get this day started. I had a nice time in Nashville, but the prices were really high, which doesn't surprise me, but I'm ready to go a little off the beaten path. I'm wake, making my way towards Arkansas, but alas, it's 9 a.m. and I am ready to go shopping. This Jetson's backpack, dude, what? That's insanely cool. Cartoon corner. Wow, that is neat. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, which is seeming to be <laughs> one of the themes of my trip. Look at this cookie jar, oh my gosh. Is so cute. Kind of into this Santa Bell. Made in China. <laughs> it's a really cool look though. Oh. <laughs> well, there's a lot I like here. First, of course, is the lighter. And this guy. This is a big one. Oh my gosh. How much is he? $28. That's totally fair. That's a really large size. So much to see. See, I like the ones that are like big and spaced out and packed full of stuff. Um, I've been stopping in a lot of smaller antique stops, which I normally don't, honestly, but I've had fun. I'm ready to see some large antique malls. That's kind of neat. It's got flamingos on it. Look at this bag. That's kind of wild. Gotta watch my step back here. Oh, look at this hat. How fabulous. $70, 50% off. Okay, that makes sense, so 35. That's probably about what I'd get for that. That's really pretty. And then what's this bag? Oh, oh my gosh, how fun is that? Vintage 60s mother of pearl. I can't. Oh, 42, so 21, not bad. Love the color of that, that's super fun. Whoa, look at that old scale. Is that a scale? I think it's a scale. It's really neat. Yeah, that's awesome. Whoa, all right. Slowly I turn. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cute. $7.99 too. It's not, I could probably make a couple bucks off that. It's not my favorite. It's like missing like a little extra pizzazz for me. Oh my gosh, look at this one. That's fantastic. I'm really glad I started here while I'm totally uh, bright and chipper a lot of stimulation on the eyes. Look at the little beaded coin purse. That is so cute. Four dollars. I like the shape of that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Got my first item. Then the cat bookends. These are left in. Oh gosh. 15 for the pair. That's super fair, especially because they're both there. Oh, but you know what? The other one has some chips on the ear. It looks like, if I'm not mistaken, they have some Bakelite buckles. It looks like they say $10 or eight, eight to $10 each. Is that right? I'm not sure how well they would sell. They're super neat though. I really like that stripey one. All right, so this one is new, but this one, the way that um, rhinestones are and the material, this one, yeah, that one looks new, but this one looks like it's, it probably has some age to it. And that's at $8. I'm gonna take a better look at that. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is pretty too. Um, all right, let me not get distracted. 
everyone's been asking for bracelets and I really like this black one. So I think I am gonna go ahead and pick that one up for $8. Yeah, it's got some age to it. And it looks like all the rhinestones are actually there, which is nice. And then what's happening here? It's not exactly what I thought it was. Interesting. Metal barrette. That's kind of neat with the stones. I kind of want to get that for $4. It's fun. I'm going to get that. Um, and then what about this? Shamrock. That's kind of fun, even though it probably newer. Oh, and we've got another vintage one right in front of me. I almost missed it. And this is a really fun blue color. How do you get this out? Okay. $4. It's a little too big for me, so I'm forced to sell, but I'm going to get it. I love this dresser box. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I've had this planter before. I actually bought it in Texas but it's super cute. It's only $6.50. Oh, I really wanna get it. The other one I had, um, it took a while to sell, honestly. But you know what, at that price, I think it's worth it. Especially that bunny. I mean, who can resist in the eyelashes? All right, moving forward. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at that, that hand. How much is that? Can't see the price. Oh, there it is. I think it says 17 or 47. <laughs> um, let's see what else is in this case. There's a lot going on in here. I love that brooch in the back with the blue and the red stones. Oh, I'm second guessing this planter. I know the price is right. I'm just nervous I'm gonna get stuck with it again. It surprised me how long it took to sell the first time. I love the little doll purse. Oh, look at you, $28. This place just keeps going and going. What is this guy, this little soldier? That's so cute. In our co. How much are you though? $68. I love the old calendar, but what actually, it's grabbed my attention. Angry Little Bo Peep and Sad Little Miss Muffet. Those are adorable. 15 for the pair. I might actually get one of them down. The Miss Muffet one is really hilarious. That's so cute. But it is a print. It's not actually, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. There we go. Um, it is a print. It looks like it had texture to it, but it's just uh, printed that way. Oh my gosh, I almost missed it. The poodle letter holder. Oh my gosh, I'm like knocking into things. <laughs> okay, how much are you? So, as you guys know, I hate having to get special boxes, but this, this is $15. It's got a little bit of wear, but it's fantastic. I am, I'm gonna have to get this. There's no way I'm leaving that there. Now, after this, my next stop is definitely gonna have to be the post office, because I need every square inch I can get. Okay, there's a lot going on here. One, whatever this thing is. <laughs> uh, 19, oh cool, 1940, 1950s baby planter, interesting. But the next thing that caught my attention is the Italian box, which seems to be in pristine condition. How much is it? Well, now I see that it was propped up. The leg is broken. What about this fabulous box purse? $65, that's fantastic. I love box purses. Look at that incredible Jack in the Pulpit. That's a 35. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, and this one with the gilding. Um, low, oh, low its type, I was gonna say. I don't think I said that right, but. That's amazing. 
Uh, also, the perfume bottle in the back, that's at 85 though. I have a couple like that on my vanity. I love the glass in this case. Wow, even this amazing amethyst coin dot. What's this wall pocket? Oh my gosh, it's like a weird owl. Unfortunately, at $20, I don't think I can do much with it. But what is going on with this metal flower cart? Mid-century metal flower cart, $20? Okay, bird. Be very careful moving you. This is so neat. I have to pull this out. I think it's got a little too much wear for me to invest $20 in it, though, as a reseller. If it was for myself, that would be a steal. The flam oh, no, that's a... That's not a flamingo, that's a heron. What's the sequins? Oh my gosh, it's like a little mini dress. That's so much fun. Dancer costume. How fantastic. And what is... I love the print on that. Very 70s. Well, this has my attention too. It's those puzzle boxes. 25 though. This one's so funny. 12.50. Hmm. 25, 1250. I wonder. Huh. Very cool. I think it's a little too much for me to spend up front though. So packed. <laughs> Looks like a lot of newer stuff. It's definitely uh all kinds of everything and whatnot. Random <laughs> Mighty Mouse head. I love the color of this face, even though this looks like it's probably newer, yeah. It's very cool though. Oh my gosh, look at the Scotty Dog oil lamp. I have to know how much that is. Wait, $27.50? That's insanely cheap. I unfortunately don't wanna pick this up because even though it's an amazing deal, I just, I would have to have it complete or something to be able to mess with it. just It's just not worth it to me. It's so big and so heavy. Oh, but it is so fantastic. It's super hard to find these. And they go for a lot of money. I know I could make money off of it, even, if, even though it's incomplete. So much happening in here. What is this fantastic dog? $19, dang. Whoa. I will say, the farther away from Pennsylvania I get, it seems like the more antique -y antiques the antique malls get. <laughs> um, there's not, not a whole lot in the next few aisles that is really my style, although I'm looking at that display hand. Ooh, it's open. <laughs> that was a surprise. This is an older one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's ceramic, I thought it was wood. That's a little underwhelming. And then the head vases, they're super broke though. Ooh, I love this orange vase. What is, what are these little things? <laughs> oh, I didn't even show them. Hmm, a little too new. All right, and the bags, $5, vintage, small, black and gold. Oh, that's super cute. What about in here? Mm, oh my gosh. It's a fuzzy red barrette. Oh, this is fantastic. French Angora, $5. That's fantastic. Oh, oh my gosh. $29. I was going to say the ones with faux fruit on them usually sell pretty well. Anthropomorphic. $14.50 though. Um, that's about retail. He's in great condition. This is definitely a harder to find one. So much fun. And then the apple. I've had that one a bunch. A little kitschy nook. She's cute. Eight fifty. Unfortunately, her eyes look like they've been repainted. Oh my gosh! Look at this uh, top. How fun is that? And then more compacts. Twelve dollars though. That's a really nice one though really pretty 
Oh man, and it says American Beauty on the little plush pad. Oh, that's so sweet. That's a little sewing kit. This is just so sweet with the rhinestones. Oh, look at how that shines. I kind of want to pick this up, even though it's a little bit more than I'd like to spend up front. This is fun. This gold bag of the plastic bamboo handles on it. Oh, I just can't let this go. I think I can get away with still making some money on it. I'm gonna pay up for it. I can't help myself. I love the funky pigs too. I had these before and they didn't sell that well. I was surprised. I'm starting to second guess spending this much, but all the rhinestones are there. It's really pretty. I'm gonna do it. Bear mittens. <laughs> um, that's something you don't see every day. So I spent $50 in there and there's another place right down the street, but I desperately need a post office. If I didn't need it then, I definitely need it now. I just realized I left with my Airbnb key. Whoops.